Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you record actual work completed or progress made on a task in a project file, Microsoft Project recalculates the remaining task duration by default. When calculating the work value of a task after updating either the work, duration, or unit values, Microsoft Project uses a formula called the scheduling formula to recalculate the task's remaining work value. The scheduling formula is work equals duration times units. Note that units refers to the resource assignment units, often entered as a percentage. When you create tasks in a project file, the task has an associated task type that you can set on the Advanced tab of the Task Information dialog box. Each task type corresponds to each element of the scheduling formula. The task type determines which of the elements in the formula remains constant if one of the other two elements is changed. The default task type is fixed units. Using this task type lets you change the duration of a task to have project recalculate the work remaining or vice versa. However, you can change this setting to either fixed duration or fixed work. If you select fixed duration, you can change either the work or unit values and project recalculates the other value. If you select fixed work, you can change either the unit or duration values and project recalculates the other value. Also note that you cannot disable effort-driven scheduling on a fixed work task type. An important point to note is that assigning a task type lets you enter actual work or progress values for your task and then let project update the other values. This does not mean that you cannot change the fixed value for the task. You can always change any value, meaning duration, units, or work for a task, regardless of the task type that is applied to the task. The fixed aspect simply refers to which element or variable in the scheduling equation is held constant when recalculating work values for the task. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.